Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Had a bit of time to think about Darren Moore's departure now, and in my opinion, I think it was quite wrong to be honest with you. If you look at it in their statement saying that they want to achieve uh, automatic promotion, uh, with 10 games to go anyway, it probably wasn't possible, meaning that the gap was so big. But I just find it really bizarre that they've actually got rid of him at you know, this time, I thought they would have at least gave him to the end of the season. With that being said, a lot of names being linked. Um, Lee Johnson from Bristol City, one of them who I think would be a good option. You know, he's done really well for Bristol City under such limited resources. Um, another name being mentioned is Jose Mourinho. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to be like every West Brom fan and, you know think we're going to get someone like Pep Guardiola to take over when we're not. But the realistic name who West Brom have as their number one target um, is Jukanovic, who used to manage Fulham. Um, obviously got them promoted. <clears throat> Recently got the sack from there as well. Um, I think our other target was David Wagner, who managed Huddersfield. Um, but he's ruled himself out of that one. To be honest, you can't really blame these managers if they're going to rule themselves out because they're not really going to get backed if they come to West Brom with our owner. And I hate to say that, but it's just the reality. Um, no manager who comes to West Brom really is going to get mass amounts of money. Um, yes, it is an attractive job. Um, if you can get West Brom promoted to the Premier League like our club want us to be, then it's quite good to put on your CV if you're a manager. But... In my opinion, I think Jukanovic is a good manager. Obviously, he has the experience of getting teams promoted. He plays quite attractive football. Um, it's going to be interesting to see who we get in. Obviously, last season he led Fulham to a 1-0 win um, against Aston Villa in the playoff final, which did mean that, that they got promoted to the Premier League. But when he did get them to the Premier League, it just didn't work out for, the, uh, for them. Obviously, getting sacked earlier in the season but you know what guys I think it's a good appointment he's got uh, quite a good record for Fulham as well played 145 games won 64 drawed 36 and lost 45 so with a win percentage of 44.1 percent it wasn't too bad now I know a lot of people preferred Wagner at West Brom but I'm not too sure to be honest with you I think Jukanovic would be an ideal manager to take over at West Brom. Like I said, he's had experience at teams like Watford and um, Fulham. And with Luke Dowling recently joining, having links to Watford, I really can see, see it being Jukanovic taking over. I'm not too sure when the appointment will be made, but I know that um, West Brom need to check with the owners abroad to see if that's the person they want, because obviously they're in charge. They'll probably have the final say who comes. But yeah, I'd be quite happy with Jukanovic if we do get him. I just don't think that English managers really cut it anymore. The only real English manager doing well at the minute is probably Eddie Howe of Bournemouth. And that's extremely rare. Um, I've seen links with like Sam Allardyce and stuff like that. We don't want Sam Allardyce. Like literally, it'd be like going back to the Pulis days. Um, but yeah, West Brom top target is Jukanovic. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think it would be a good appointment? Do you think it would be a bad appointment? Who would you like to see come in most importantly? And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video guys.